Every year, over half a million Catholic teenagers leave home and arrive on U.S. college campuses. They come with many hopes. They hope for an exceptional education, lasting friendships, and a good social life. They hope to build a solid foundation for their future. Typically away from home for the first time, these students also face many challenges. My freshman year was probably the first time I've ever felt depressed and lonely. There's a lot of eating disorders. Alcohol. Drinking is the norm. You're expected to drink. Drug use is rampant, especially pot. So much pot that they get to the point where it doesn't really even affect them. There are people standing on the corners, the quads, handing out condoms, sex tips, articles. Sex week in general can be a very depressing time. I knew personally several girls who were day drinking. If you know someone is a virgin, they get mocked. Sometimes even by professors. There's no support. Most students never find an attractive alternative to this dark side of college life, unless they're on a campus served by the Brotherhood of Hope. Should it be the last breath I take alone? I will use it to sing a song of praise to you. My freshman year, I was in the union. I'm going to be totally, totally honest. I think I was stoned. It was rough. I had a little Filipino man come up to me and invite me out to the Catholic Student Union. I laughed and I walked away. My sophomore year, my entire life was starting to not make sense anymore. And all I could hear in my head was Brother Allen telling me that the Catholic Student Union existed. Brother Allen, through like the grace of God, single-handedly saved my life. And my life was turned around because one person reached out to me and said, your life can be something other than what it is right now, which is the greatest gift I've ever gotten in my life. Founded in 1980 in New Jersey, the Brotherhood of Hope is a community of Catholic brothers who have impacted thousands of students at large secular campuses. They serve the Catholic centers at Boston University, Northeastern, Florida State, and Rutgers Universities. Their combination of professional and theological training brings a novel approach to campus ministry, evangelizing students and training a new generation of leaders for the church. From our earliest years, we sense the Lord's call to reach out to students, especially Catholics at secular schools where 90% of Catholic undergrads attend. The need is immense. I know what students experience because I lived in darkness until the brothers reached out to me. So it brings me deep joy to help students move from despair to hope. The Brotherhood's community life is marked by simplicity, charity, and a deep dedication to prayer that fuels their missionary thrust. On campus, they foster magnetic Catholic communities, attracting a diverse group of students, including those with no faith. We all need companions. We all need that fellowship. and. The Catholic Center has been that for me. I can share truly where I'm at, where I'm struggling, where I need help with. If I need prayer for something, I can be 100% open with students here that I can't necessarily be that open with, with other friends. This community really is for Christ, um, and it's because we have the brothers focusing us. This community has been such a formation in my life by challenging me, by supporting me, by encouraging me through like difficult things, and by just playing and having fun. Their brother's zeal, their enthusiasm, love, their constant encouragement. I feel they're like my actual brother. I have friends that don't even care as much as the brothers do, and, and I've known them for my whole life. Not only have we grown in numbers, but we've grown in excitement. My freshman year, you never would have been able to fill two trips for spring break, and now all of a sudden you have people coming out your ears. Everyone wants to go. Every morning at, at 7.30 Mass, we'll have a crowd of like 30 or 40 students. And that's, that's pretty unheard of for uh, college students to, you know, get up before noon. <laughs> As brothers lead the students to personally encounter Jesus, amazing things happen. Students experience God's love for the first time. They return to the sacraments, begin to pray daily, 
read the scriptures, and grow in virtue. Their lives are transformed in Christ. I stand before you a witness of, of the resurrection of Christ. I've personally like experienced the power of his resurrection in my life, and that has everything to do with how he's reached me through this community, and I'm incredibly grateful, more than words can express. I've learned so much here about my faith, about my identity and confidence in Christ. I learned about modesty, developing a prayer life and going to daily mass and being a daily communicant. I learned my love for the scriptures here. I just realized that something inside of me changed. You know, if, if you would have asked me two years ago, would you be involved with the Catholic Senate to this degree, I would say absolutely not. The campus ministry is amazing. Brother Pat, Sister Olga. People were really just fired up about their faith. People were experiencing deeper conversion through their time in prayer, through the retreats, through their one-on-one -on -one times with the brothers. In the end, this is really God working, but I see God working through the brothers, and I see that kind of carrying down through students here, and I'm just extremely happy to be a part of this. Upon this faith foundation, the Brotherhood fosters student leaders through on-the-job training. Young people lead Bible studies, run service projects, and take on key leadership roles. Working with the brothers has really helped me to learn how to not only deepen my own faith, but how to lead others to deepen their faith as well. I just have such a greater desire to evangelize. I love that I can just talk about Jesus and what he's done in my life and encourage them and try to give them hope in their lives when they're needing it, when they're down. When I led the, the fall retreats, I was scared at first, but I prayed about it. I saw guidance and I teamed up with Brother Clinton, Brother Joe, Brother Brandon, and that's through that whole experience, through leading the events, leading prayers, reading scripture with other people and talking about it, I've been able to experience what being a leader is. The Brotherhood also equips students to make an impact both at the university and beyond. On campus, they stay involved in college activities as a vibrant witness to Catholic life by fielding top-ranked teams in intramural sports, winning awards at homecoming events, promoting ecumenical and interreligious programs, and testifying to their faith in public. I think people see something different about the students, maybe something different that they don't have. People ask, hey, like, what is this thing you're part of? The Catholic Center has a vibrancy to it. You can see it in the students' eyes. They're doing an amazing amount with what they have. As an academic, I look at things in curves, and the curve continues to shoot up more and more. After graduation, alumni continue spreading hope at their parishes, youth groups, and workplaces. They do inner city ministry, teach marriage preparation, or create new outreach initiatives. Many have pursued priestly or religious vocations. Paul Malley, the president of Aging with Dignity, and his wife, Almira, received formation through a Brotherhood campus ministry. The Brothers' influence is evident in how our lives are centered in Christ, how we teach our children about our faith, our effort to make prayer a priority in our home routine. Kevin McCune is one of 11 men who entered the seminary after participating in the Florida State Outreach. Personally, the Brotherhood sparked my faith life, taking it to a new depth, and giving me the foundation on which to build a call to the priesthood. Christine Sanji was a valedictorian at Boston University. Alongside her physical therapy career, she organizes missionary trips to poor children in Honduras. The fruits of my time with the Brotherhood of Hope continue to blossom in my life today. I often tell people that I wish the Brotherhood of Hope could run the Catholic campus ministry on every college campus. I truly believe our country would be transformed. Justin Byance founded Fraternus, a new ministry to Catholic boys inspired by the Brotherhood and launched by alumni. Until I met the Brothers, I only knew Brotherhood in the wrong ways. Brotherhood founded in drugs, sex, and alcohol. But you revealed the strength of Brotherhood when used for good, and that's what we're hoping to create at a very young age with Fraternus, a Brotherhood founded in Christ. Josh Wallows established a thriving student outreach in Central Florida. It was my five years at Florida State that taught me every single thing I know, not only about ministry, but about my Catholic faith in general. Now I'm at UCF and God is doing amazing things, none of which would be happening if not for the Brotherhood of Hope. It's a joy to behold Jesus transform many lives, and it's a privilege to share in his mission of bringing hope on campus and beyond. In order to advance this fruitful mission, here's how you can help. Daily Prayer 
praying that more students are transformed in Christ. Financial gifts, supporting the brothers who depend on donations for their ministry. Promotional help, sharing the Brotherhood's website or DVD with your friends. For more information, visit brotherhoodofhope.org. Your help is needed and appreciated for this mission of hope.